Lee with hundreds of media members, interview after interview, rubbing shoulders with South Carolina, Alabama, and LSU. You could say this is A&M's first official taste of the SEC. Well, the Aggies did come in strong in their interview sessions today, and they made sure they gave their new conference a Texas style of flavor. As Kevin Sumlin and the Aggies entered the 1,100 people who made up the SEC media storm, they quickly realized they weren't in the Big 12 anymore. It's definitely more, way more than I expected. This is, this is crazy. I mean, I've never been to something like this, and uh, I think, I mean, most of our a &M guys are brand new to this whole SEC thing, so uh, it was definitely all, an eye-opener for all of us. It all fits right in with A&M's new theme of change. It's hardest on the players. And, um, you know, the, the sooner that we get complete buy-in from the players, the quicker that we can have some success. But as the Aggies enter media days, they quickly showed they were ready for the SEC challenge. It's a great opportunity to, to, uh, to play against the best, you know, in the country. Um, that's why I want to come back and, uh, for my senior season. I wanted to play against the best and experience the best. Well, they took down the SEC sign, but tomorrow they're going to ramp it up all over again. Tomorrow morning, A&M's first conference opponent, Florida, goes to the podium, followed by a familiar foe in LSU. And we'll be here all three days to give you some sounds and sights and all of those type of things. Reporting live from Hoover, Alabama at SEC Media Days, Lane Fobbs, ABC 40 Sports.